Number 30. During a wrestling match, a 150 kilogram wrestler briefly stands on one hand during a maneuver designed to perplex his already mortibund adversary. By how much does the upper arm bone shorten in length? The bone can be represented by a uniform rod, 38 centimeters in length, and 2.1 centimeters in radius. All right, so here we have a picture. Here's, here is the, uh, it looks perplexing to me what I drew, but uh, here is a uh, wrestler, my attempt to draw a wrestler standing on one hand. And um, we know that his uh, mass, right, is 150 kilograms. So why don't we just calculate his weight right away? Um, just because we know that we'll be dealing with forces here. So 150 multiplied by 9.8. So his weight will simply be uh, 150 times 9.8. And it's going to be 1470. So 1470 newtons. Okay, great. Now this is the weight that is literally uh, being pushed into the ground, right? And that then ground is pushing back on the wrestler in the exact opposite direction, right? And that is the force that is compressing the arm, okay? So it's the equal but opposite force according to Newton's law, third law, right? The ground is exerting a force on the wrestler of 1470 Newtons, and that is compressing uh, the bone in his arm, all right? So the force right here is the same as the weight, all right, 1470. So this is 1470 Newtons. All right, great. Now um, they're talking about uh, and that's basically all the important uh, forces here in the problem. Now it's asking us, you know, by what amount does the bone shorten in length? So we got to think about, well, what formula am I dealing with? Well, we're dealing with a compression of a rod, all right? And we're talking about changing changes in length, so therefore we're going to be using the Young's modulus formula. So it says that the force of tension or compression, I mean, in this problem it's compression, the force of uh, compression here will, equals, uh, will equal Young's modulus multiplied by the change in length of the object divided by the initial length of that object multiplied by the cross-sectional area of that object. So the compressional force here is going to be uh, 1470, right? We're not dividing it by two because he's standing on one arm. It says our one hand. So we do know that, that we don't have to divide by two like we did in the prior question, right? Young's modulus now for compression you have to be careful. Here's bone compression, and now it's 9, all right? 9 times 10 to the 9, all right? And then the change in length is what we're after. The initial length they told us was 38 centimeters, but I need meters, so just move the decimal two places to the left, so 0 0.380. And now the cross-sectional area. Well, remember, we're talking about a bone, and basically bones are shaped, I mean these bones, right? And we're talking about the uh, upper arm and the humerus, Right, it says upper arm bone, yeah, so the humerus. So we're, it's approximately circular. I mean, we're just going to use that assumption. And they told us the radius here is uh, 2.1 centimeters, but remember, i got to calculate everything in meters, so just move the decimal two places to the left. So this is the value in meters, okay? Now, how do I find the area of this shape? Simple. It's the area of a circle. So pi r squared. So the area is equal to pi times 0 0.0210 squared. And now what do we get? So 3 point, oh, well, I'll just do pi exactly, pi times 0 0.021, uh, and that's squared. So I get a value here of 1.34, 1 1.3, yeah, 4, no, one, what am I talking about? 1.39. I'm looking at it, I don't know why I'm saying 4. So 1.39 times 10 raised to the 1, 2, 3, negative 3. Right, and that is in meters squared. So that's the area. Okay, so now we can plug that area into our formula. So let's do that. So now it's 1.39 times 10 to the minus 3. Great. Let's clean it up. So we got 1470 is equal to, so we got 9 times 10 to the 9 times 1.39 times 10 to the minus 3, and then divide that by 0.38. So we get a value here of 3.29 times 10 to the 6, 7 it looks like, times 10 to the 7 uh, multiplied by the change in length. So now just divide out the 3.29, right, times 10 to the 7, divide out the 3.29 times 10 to the 7, and the change in length here will be 1470 divided by 3.29 times 10 to the 7th. 
and we get four point looks like four point four seven. Four point four seven times ten to the negative five. That is in meters. Alright, so that would be the change in length of the humerus. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Tell your friends. All right. We'd appreciate it so much. More subscribers. That means the more videos we can put out for you guys. All right. Thank you so very much again. I really appreciate your time tuning in. I hope we're able to help and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.